All right, guys, welcome back to my mechanics. In this episode, uh, we have an 06 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 4.7 liter in it. And uh, it's got a, it's getting a dead battery. It's got a charging system problem, okay? We went ahead and scanned it and it's got a code for the uh, field windings on the alternator PO622. So uh, we're gonna give you a description of the system and uh, see what's going on. There can be many problems with the charging systems, but this one's actually putting a specific code for uh, for the field windings, okay? So we're gonna show you how to do a resistance test and uh, show you a diagram and, you know, see what it looks like, okay? So stick around and we'll get down to it. Here we go. Uh, pretty much battery, totally integrated power module, PCM, and uh, alternator. Okay, uh, it's it's PCM controlled. There's only three wires to it, as you can see, and this one's actually the output wire. Okay, this one's going to go to the battery, and these two are the ones that uh, are going to be for field. And as you can see, this one goes directly to ground. So the other one has to be voltage, okay? It can work vice versa. It depends on the uh, system, the vehicle. For you to uh, properly diagnose this, you will need to scan it and make sure it's full fielding the, uh, uh, the field wire, okay? It's pretty much it applies the voltage. That's all it's doing, okay? All right, so these two wires here, these are the field connector. This is where we're going to do a resistance test, okay, with these two wires. And uh, as I've said before, how hard could it be, right? It's only three wires. How hard can it be? Three. The alternator is computer controlled through a duty cycle, applying a voltage. All right, guys, this is up in 06 Ram 1500. I'm going to show you how to check the uh, field windings. It's got a code for open windings. As you can see, I'm touching both feet here. Nothing. This is the replacement one. Let's see if we can get that. There you go. We have two point, about two ohms. Okay. This one's wide open. And wide open, as you can see. Okay, that's what you do. There was no alternator output. All right, guys, one thing you should always check, even though the windings test good, did a good test on it, spin it. See how good it is? This is the old one. So you can see. This is the new one. I don't know. Seems to have gone away. Oh, there it was. It stopped. I hate to put it on and then all of a sudden it starts making noise. It's almost making noise in there. Not anymore, I guess. Leave it at that. Here we go. Turn it upside down. See, it's even binds, as you can see. Whatever is in there, it's loose. So, so making it all the time now. Something's messed up in it, right? So before you install it, at least spin it. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes our video. As you can see, it's very simple to do a resistance test. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, this system is not a very complicated system. It's computer controlled, so you need a scanner, but it's 
still not not very complicated. Okay, you still have to scan it to make sure that you didn't miss something. But uh, as I said before, you know, the component has three wires, right? Three wires, you know, how hard could it be? And then even that, you narrow it down to two wires, okay? And so um, just because this was code specific, that's why we went straight to the uh, uh, field windings. Otherwise than that, you can have other problems. So um, hope you liked the video, like and subscribe here on my mechanic in our cave, our garage. So um, keep watching and uh, we'll keep trying to make videos for you, okay?